Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. I was playing and I got an exotic drop. It, it's the highest stat I've ever gotten on an exotic armor piece. It's at 69 for the Kepri's Horn of all things. And I started thinking, you know what? Let's make this work. Let's do a live gameplay. Let's talk about it. We're at a time in Destiny where you can use different things and have some fun. I'm going to go ahead and add on a resilience mod here. And my stat splits are a little messed up, but it's going to make sense for what we want to do. With this exotic, we have Solar Rampart, Solar Damage Kills Recharge Your Barricade, which unleashes a blast of solar energy when summoned. Now, a couple things to remember about this Barricade Blast. Number one, it goes out, it extends, and it comes right back, so there are two ticks of damage going on. It's almost like a Thermite Grenade. The blast goes out, does a tick of damage. When it comes back in, it does a tick of damage. So, real quick note that if you're up against a wall or their structure and you send the blast out, it's just going to stop, so it's not going to come back. Now, what's really cool is if people are rushing you, the barricade's gonna be up, so we can either go over it, we can go beside it, we can use a shotgun. I'm actually gonna be using a solar drang with swashbuckler. I also have on a killing one swashbuckler cold denial. But what's really nice about this thing is that there is a sweet spot for it. It goes out pretty far, 18 and a half meters. So actually, the further that you can time it right, there's a sweet spot where it comes out, then goes back in, that'll instantly pretty much delete them. So we're going to be running around mostly with the Drang, and we're going to be setting up with that Barricade. Now we have 10 Resilience, that's for the 14 second Barricade, and we're going to be pairing this with Bottom Tree, but real quick, a couple other things to go over. We have Enhanced Momentum Transfer, so causing damage with your grenade greatly reduces your melee cooldown, because when we pop that Barricade and that Blast goes out, we can throw a Thermite over it. We can do a lot of different things. We can go over it for the Punch. We're going to be in very close quarters, we're going to be at choke points, we're going to be aggressive with it. Now, another thing that we have is going to be Solar Plexus because we are on a Solar subclass, meaning that our Solar Melee abilities have increased damage. But we're pairing it with Bottom Tree. That's one with the Sunspots. Now, of course, we do have the Super, Endless Siege, Hammers Create a Sunspot on Impact. That, that's the Super, it's separate. But we have Soul Invictus. Solar Ability Kills Restore Your Health, Grenade, Melee Ability, and Sun Warrior Kills Leave a Deadly Sunspot in their wake. Mortar Blast, strike enemy with this melee ability to release a solar explosion, setting nearby enemies on fire. And then Sun Warrior, passing through the sunspot, causes your grenade melee abilities to recharge faster and your super to last longer. It also increases all the damage that you do. So we have this very fast barricade. We're going to be leading every single engagement that we can with the barricade. And we're going to try to be in the sunspots and use that to our advantage. And this is just another way to play. I guarantee you the players that I'm playing against have not seen this. You don't see this in the Crucible, so we should have a lot of fun with it. And I often wonder, what if it got a buff like the burning mall tracking from the super? Like, what if the wave did that and tracked people? I think you'd be seeing it a lot more. Regardless, we're going to have a lot of fun today in this live gameplay. I'm excited to get in there. And let's see if we have a gentleman's game. And what I... No, we don't. But what I call a gentleman's game is a whole bunch of solo players playing against solo players. I mean, I guess this is the best it could possibly be to have a six stack with a four and then two randoms. But still, they should do something for the solo players. I don't know. Or maybe do a little a little better job of matching six versus six and four versus four and so on. But we'll, we'll just kind of deal with it. Um, really, really important thing that I forgot with the introduction here. Um, since we are just totally committing to Kepri's Horn, we have max resilience. And I would never run this high, but we have the 14 second class ability cooldown. We're doing that because of this. Now... On the Void Titan mark, we have Perpetuation, and that means reduces class ability cooldown when using your class ability. So we get a, we get a little bump every time we throw out the shield, so we're going to get it quick and often, and that's going to be the whole goal with the shield. We're going to lead every engagement that we can with it. What, what I do plan to do, let's put a little counter on the screen every time I touch someone with this shield. It plays. We have Killing Wind. I'm actually going to move with it. It plays still spawning at alpha i haven't thrown out a single shield yet we're gonna stick close to it he has to reload the last word wait for him to run out he's gonna burn out possibly yes sir we're count we're out here counting last word shots we have our barricade back. Will this go up and come back? There we go. Are they all using last word? The six stack? Yes, I think they are. The console. Okay. Well, the six stack of last words quit. So they were going for it. But I mean, let's go ahead and do another game. All right. Round two. Let's see if we have a gentleman's game here. Nope. We have a four, a 
two and a two. I mean, that's all right. We have some solo players in here. We only got off a, a couple shields that, that last game, but we didn't go for that long. It's kind of a, a big board to keep uh, trying to be in people's face with the shield, but th this is going to be a little bit better. Ding! Oh, I caught him with it. He knows he's hurt. Choke that off. Sunspots. Yeah, let's go back. Oh, they didn't come and spawn back there. But another thing you can do is like literally jump like right in front of people and just throw it down. I'm going to say next to the sunspots, see if we can tap it again. Nope, we missed. It's going to be a very heavy spawn here. Throw this out in a single direction. Our teammate lost. This Titan's messing with this guy. Remember it comes back? <laughs> he kind of bait him into one or the other. Yes, the Dawning Hungers are real. Guys below us. It's alright, we're getting ready to throw out another shield. Ding! <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to get old, guys. <laughs> that Thermite should mess him up. Ding! Ding! It's so good! You would. You would. Good plays, good plays. Tlaloc. Ding! Oh no. See, like right there, we wanted to punch him. He's gonna die to the flame! But yeah, again, is it meta? No. But it's it sure is fun. It sure is fun getting these kills. And you know, you don't have to use Drang, you can use your tune. You can use a whole bunch of different things, like I said. You captured zone C. Like I just stuffed him. <laughs> you know, and another thing too is like when you stuff them like that, you take away all their health. You take away all their shields, I mean. I threw it in a structure show it stopped. It's kind of a bad play by me. Oh, there's a lot. Good play, teammate! I'll let you go first because he's sitting there waiting on me. Alright, we don't have the range for this at all. Worm husk? Stay with the shield, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my shield and try to drop right in that choke point. Oh no, our teammates caught him. Good plays, dude. Get some of these noms real quick. I don't know if he's below me or not. My guy. Okay, good play. If they're gonna chase me? Don't do it! Ding! It hurts! <laughs> you no, know, get too tapped. The is on. Finish it. Three minutes. You're winning. Oh, there's a lot here. Ding! Ding! Let's go! In that sunspot. Oh, I missed it. I guarantee for like a lot of these people, they've never seen it in their life. Ding. Oh no, I didn't get off the melee? I mean, that's another tool that you have with it, is just to basically stuff them with the shield itself.
That's a lot of thermite. Stuff them with the shield itself. And then uh, finish them off. Alright, these aren't the best hammers in the world, but they are hammers. But that was pretty fun. We got a good amount of kills with it. The second game went a little bit better than the first, but again, just pair, pair it with something solar that you can be aggressive with. We have 33 opponents defeated with the 4-3 efficiency, and we got a good amount of tags with the Kepri's Horn. So it's just one of those things to go out and try, maybe in your weekend session. It'd be something for quick play. If you get crazy, you can try it in trials when people are coming in for revives. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do plan to keep covering the underused subclasses in the upcoming weeks. And it, I'm going to get back to streaming as well. I have an announcement for streaming probably in a week or so. Um, as far as my content, man, I, I really appreciate you guys watching my stuff. And I, I was always told that one of the most important things you can give someone is your time. So I really appreciate you guys spending a little bit of your day with me. Go out and try the Kepri's Horn just to have fun with it. Just meme on people like I was doing. It's a blast. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.